In four years, you come out of the military, $56,000 in investments accounts, you didn't have to sacrifice anything. I looked into this stuff years later, and these were some of the, the worst. If you play your cards right, you've set yourself up for life. I'm 21 going to the military next month. When should I start investing? Here's what I'm going to tell you about military, okay? As somebody who went to the military, learned from my mistakes, made some mistakes. Let me show you something right here. I don't know if they still do this, but when I went in and I got out of boot camp and I went through San Antonio, Texas, I kept running into these people that told me about compounding interest. It was the first time I ever heard about it. And they were good. They were good at selling. They're like, hey, do you know that all that money, that $3,000 that you made, during boot camp that you didn't spend and you're 18 years old, you never had that much money in your in your life. Did you know that if you were to take that and you were to take it all or 2000 of it and invest it in this, this uh, fund and you added only $100 per month every month and you're in the military for 20 years, by the time you retire, you're gonna be this 2000 plus 100 a month, you're gonna have like $65,000 or some crazy number like that. And I was like, oh shit, that's a lot of money. And I saw a lot of people sign up for those fucking things. The reason I didn't sign up for it was number one, I was 18, I had money. All I wanted was booze and <laughs> Sorry, mom, I'm a babe, my daughter, she reads this. That's all I wanted at 18. But a lot of people got suckered into this. Now they didn't do this on base. It was, I noticed that they were capturing people off the base and they were getting into it. I looked into this stuff years later and these were some of the, the worst. These guys were charging 5% management fee broken up fucking quarterly. And this was the low end. It was between 5 and 10%. And they broke it up quarterly. It was insane. It was basically a loan service. Now, this was 2003. So obviously there was a lot less regulations than there are now. So to my guy who's going to military, says he wants to invest, what should I do? You should absolutely fucking invest and I'm gonna tell you why. This will be the only time in your life where you won't notice the money gone. Do you wanna know why I say that? Because you have zero bills that you need to survive. You are the one person in the world at 18 or 19 or 20 who can pay absolutely nothing out of pocket and survive. Not that you will, but you can. So. Going into the military, number one, don't get married. It never works out. I don't care how fucking awesome your girlfriend is and military divorces suck. Number two, don't buy a new car. You're 18 years old. They're going to swindle you. They've, they've had years and years and years of experience on how to sell these cars to 18 year old kids. All that money you got in your bank account tax free from your boot camp. Shit. There's your down payment right there, son. And how much are you going to be making as an E1? $1,985 a month. Well, your payment's $900. It still is $1,000 a month left over, plus you don't pay rent or food. Son, you got yourself a pussy magnet. And $1,000 left over, you are going to be the king of the hill. All the women are going to want you and your nice challenger, because every, every we all know that a woman loves a loud exhaust and you not shutting the fuck up about it. Don't buy a new car. Your interest builds up and that $20,000 car you now owe $30,000 on. You're like, wait, what the fuck? And all of a sudden your entire paycheck goes to it and you're only paying interest and it keeps going up and up and up and up until you are in front of your first sergeant and they are having to do a, uh, they're docking your pay. Number four, don't get a tattoo. Your little fucking bent barrel M16 with a fucking beret on it is not as cool six, seven years down the road when you're out of the military, you're working a goddamn construction job, you've gained 50 pounds, and it looks like a fucking snake got, you know, caught in a goddamn wood chipper. Well, it's an M16! Right there! Son, that looks like someone's dick just got chopped up. You don't want that, okay? Wait, why does it say 124? Did I miss a 3? 3 is behind a paywall. Now, investing. This is for everyone, including me, who was in the military and didn't do this. Abso fucking lootly You are gonna have money and you're not gonna have bills. And as long as you don't do what everyone else does and buy all the dumb shit, because what happens when an 18 year old has a bunch of money and no responsibilities for it? They blow it all because it just keeps coming back. It's just a reoccurring thing, right? Not forever. All right, MC Hammer lost $30 million in one year. Blew $30 million in one year. Because he made $30 million in one year. But guess what? 
He never made 30 million in a year again. And the man went broke. This is why NBA players, NFL players, they all go broke because they're gonna have a best year. They're gonna have a best year and that year is never gonna come back. They're never gonna have, you can't have, you can only have one best year. Financially the same thing. So you get this opportunity. You can still, here's the fun part. You can still go out and drink with your friends with your fake ID that somebody pulled from a, 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 a you know, an ECP at the front of the gate and you paid 50 bucks for it. And you get to, you know, your buddies that are older that are, that go in, will, will you know, they make a killing. By the way, if you're, if you're 20 going in, you're 21, listen, do not, do not ever buy alcohol for somebody underage. But what I will say is that there were people in our unit who were 21 years old who made a killing buying booze for us across the street at the PX because... You know, you give them 50 bucks, they'd go get, you know, $30 worth of booze and keep 20. And they did that 10 times a weekend. They were fucking just making money. Illegal. Don't do that. So when it comes to investing, I know that it's different now. They actually offer you an investing account. They didn't when I was in. But investing is insane because let's say, what is the average pay now for an E2? $1,833. Plus, it's going to go up by 8.7% this year. So let's call it, let's call it two grand. That's 2K per month. And guess what? Does anybody know why military and retirement, uh, military and government pay like that is awesome? No tax. That means you are making $24,000 per year clear. $24,000 per year net. So let's just pretend that this is uh, with taxes, right? So we'll call it 30K, right? So we'll call it 30K for normal people. But even though your barracks are shit, it's free. So even the best studio apartment in most places is $1,000 a month. So guess what? We're going to add another $12,000 there. Your food is covered if you want it to be, or it's cheap. You can go to the chow hall if you want. So we'll call that another, what, $300 a month in food you save if you really want to. Obviously, you're not going to on the weekends. You're going to enjoy but $300 a month. So that's another $4,000 a year. Everything you purchase on base is tax-free. So let's say you do... You know, you get a TV, you get a Xbox, you get games, you go buy it at the PX, you get it all tax-free. We'll call that another $1,000 a year. You don't need a car because you're on base. Everything is on base. If you have to go on base somewhere, they're going to give you travel, right? Like there's like when we went to the armory, we, we went up and the, the bus took us out there. Or usually the it's right next to your your, your, your barracks, wherever you live. So it's right downstairs or, or nearby. You can walk to it. So you don't have to have a car. You can Uber it on the weekends. It'll save you a lot more money. You don't have to pay insurance and shit. So why get that $27,000 fucking car for no reason? So there's car and car insurance. So you're talking another seven, $8,000 a year. I'm not taking away any of your expenses. You're having a good time on the weekend. You're buying an Xbox. You're, I'm not taking any of that away. I'm talking about expenses. No gym membership required. Not much in the way of, of laundry and clothes because, you know, you're always, you're always wearing your uniform anyways. Now, I want you to take all of this into account. Let's just take the basics here, right? 40, 50, 55K a year. Gross if you were to add that up. That's how much money you make because you're minusing expenses that most people have to have plus the money you make tax-free. That's the equivalent. But since you're not making all this money, let's stick to the 24K a year. You don't have to pay anything. Let's say that you like to splurge and you want to spend $200 every weekend. Ubers, drinking with your friends, going out to eat. $200 every weekend. That's $10,000 a year. What 18-year-old can't splurge and live on $10,000 a year? What does that leave you? $14,000 per year, give or take, that you can put away. Now, obviously, there's caps to this. But you can do your military TSP or whatever the fuck it's called. And you can open an IRA. I believe. I haven't, I'd have to double check on that. I haven't ever looked at IRA and military. And you fill it up. You had a Roth and a TSP? Exactly. You fill up your Roth and TSP at $14,000 a year. In four years, you come out of the military. $56,000 in investments accounts. You didn't have to sacrifice anything of enjoyment. If you get deployed, you have even more money because the $10,000 that you would have spent, you can't spend. Plus, you get even more money while you're deployed. And you've got your college paid for. So you have no student loans. You tell me another 22-year-old out there who has $56,000 minimum in their, in their retirement account and no fucking student debt. If you play your cards right, 
you've set yourself up for fucking life. Now, I'm not telling anybody to go into the military. I am not a bootlicker. I am a vet myself. I am a combat vet. Okay, I went into the military because it was the only opportunity I had. There's a lot of stuff I loved about it. There's a lot of stuff I hated about it. But if you are going into the military, even if you spend $10,000 a year being stupid, and remember, this is, this is up to you. You can make this a lot less. Your TSP, your Roth IRA, and your GI Bill, you walk out at 22 years old, most likely have a career set up depending on what you do. You have $56,000 minimum. That's not if the market's going up during that time. And no loans? Find me another 22-year-old out there in America who had nothing at 18 and has that at 22. Zero college debt and $56,000 in a retirement account. Mastaki, how come all vets don't do that? How come all young kids aren't doing it? Because no one knows this shit. No one's taught this shit. You're 18 years old, you're given a paycheck, a gun, you're made to feel like you're, you're fucking invincible. Then what? You think there's anybody on base teaching them this shit? Nah, they don't give a fuck. The government doesn't want you to save this money. They want you to spend the goddamn money. I'm just telling the guy who, who asked, Saki, I'm about to go into the military. Do you have any advice for me? This is where, if we're investing, this is where we came up with that. Okay? Now, there's a lot more advice I could give you about being in the military because I made a lot of mistakes when I was in. I did a lot of good things too. But I was in years ago and I was a piece of shit. And if you guys are going into the military or in the military and don't know how to start with this, they don't tell you about this. And the people, the best job in the military has to be fucking finance. Like, do they have a financial advisor? Because if they do, nobody fucking goes to them. They're probably out golfing all day.